Hi, welcome. Simon here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'd like to talk about the touchpad on a Dell laptop. So this is a Dell Inspiron 17 inch model. Or if you have any Dell or any laptop that you're finding that the touchpad is not clickable. So for instance, my clicker here is not working. And you can see that the trackpad is actually bulging out. I know it's hard for you to see it on a camera, but as you can see that it is not flat to the surface is not smooth you can see that the trackpad is uh, somewhat sticking up a little bit and when i press on the clicker i have no clicking whatsoever so that is more likely happened because of the battery right so the battery is built in the computer and when the battery is swollen it pushes from inside out and it pushes the trackpad outwards therefore the clicker have no contact to that and the touchpad is just feel like you know it's not working so let's jump right into it if your laptop is having that problem i would maybe take a look at the um, battery first and make sure that it was the problem and go ahead and change the battery let me get the phillips screwdriver here go ahead and remove all the screws so you need to remove all the back, all the screws here in the back, in order to uh, get to the battery. And again, the screws are not the same size as you can see that one of them is a much shorter compared to the other one. You might want to pay attention to which screw that goes where. It looks like the one right next to the DVD drive and the one that is holding it is a lot shorter compared to the rest of it. Okay, once all the screws are removed, slide that DVD drive to my left. That's how I remove the DVD drive. And here you're gonna see two more, three more extra tiny little screw. I'm using a tiny screwdriver. It is a Philip 1.5. That is the size of the screwdriver. Once you remove all the screws, Let's go ahead and open up the back cover here. I'll be using a metal prying tool to go in between that little gap. Okay, and then just remove the entire back cover as you can see the battery is here right underneath the trackpad right in the center here the battery is bulging okay it's WDXOR so I do have a replacement battery and that is how the battery should look like instead of that so let's go ahead and disconnect the battery by sliding the cable down Slide the cable down towards your body. Once I remove four of the screws, one, two, three, and four, the entire battery would just come right off. And again, the clicker is right here where the trackpad is. So by installing a new battery, that should take care of the problem. I just wanted to show you the difference between the battery that is flat in surface and then the one that is swollen. 
you can see that the thing is bulging and it's hard and it's pushing on the other side of it. What we need to do is to transfer this little cable. Just remove that and then push it in to the new battery. To reconnect the battery, just slide it back in and push it away from your body. And have all the four screws to go back in it. If you're not sure where to buy the replacement battery, please check the link down in the description below. I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find that replacement battery as well as the tools for this repair. And if you do find this video is helpful, please go ahead and smash the like button. I really appreciate you for liking the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. The next step is to reinstall the back cover. All you have to do is just simply slide it back in and then press every single side of the corner to make sure that the computer goes back together. Okay, at this point here, before I put the screws back, I just like to go ahead and find a clicker. As you can see that the trackpad is flattened instead of bulging. Right, the, the trackpad has receded back its original position. You can see that uh, it is flat and the clicker is clicking. I can hear that the clicker is clicking. So this is all good to go. All right, so I'll be putting the screws back together. Uh, before I do that, I need to make sure that the three tiny little screw are supposed to go in right on that side of the DVD drive. And um, if you do find this video uh, is helpful and it is safe you some money and if you want to share your gratitude, please feel free to click on YouTube Super Thanks. YouTube Super Thanks allow you to sh show your appreciation to support the work that I do and support the channel and I really appreciate you for sharing and uh, your gratitude on YouTube Super Thanks. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you have any question, comment down below. I do read your comments and I'll answer it through, through comments. Good luck with the repair and until next time, bye now.